What is up everybody and welcome to 4D Runs. Now in this video we're going to be talking about my marathon training winter, yes, winter running shoe rotation. I'm going to be telling you about all the shoes that I've got to take me through this winter as I train for the London and Manchester marathons. Okay guys, right now, bit of a caveat, bit of a spoiler before we start this video. You do not need to go mental like me, right? You need probably one or two pairs of shoes, maybe three at a push, right? You do not need to go to the lengths that I have gone to with this shoe rotation. Right, because you've got to remember, at 40 runs we get sent a lot of shoes, so you've got to take a little pinch of salt with everything I'm going to show you today. But the idea of this video is to give you some, some flavour of what I'm thinking where I'm at, and hopefully when you are thinking about your shoe rotation, maybe one or two of these ideas can help you pick that one or two shoes that you might be after. Okay, so let's dive in. Let's get this video done as quick as we can. We don't need to hang about here today and collect ad revenue. Let's talk about, firstly, daily trainers. Okay, so I've uh, documented it on the videos we've already done, but I've gone for weatherized shoes during the winter. We've got the 1080 version 12 Permafrost. Now, this is a weatherized version of the 1080. Now, this is for daily miles. We've got Fresh Foam X still in the shoe. We've got a uprated, I would say, outsole, which is better in those wet and slippery conditions. Uh, it's not waterproof, but it's weatherized. Then we've got the Triumph 20, which is, again, a run shield version. So we've got water resistantness to it. Uh, it's a slightly softer power run uh, plus midsole. We've got fantastic outsole in this shoe. This is a really comfortable shoe. Now this has been used for daily miles but sneaking into those slightly longer runs, so those up to those 10 mile distance is where this shoe is at. Also to throw into the mix for the daily miles is the uh, Asics Nova Blast. Now this is the TR version. Uh, I'm sort of alternating between the two but the the non-TR version is terrible uh, in terms of outsole, where this uprated uh, trail or trail to road version uh, is a better outsole alternative. So this is a great shoe again. For daily miles, we've got the Flight Phone Blast Plus in this shoe and it's just fantastic. Okay, so when we move out of daily miles, daily mileage, uh, we move into um, shoes that I'm sort of wearing for speedier stuff. Now, Club Night, um, I've been sticking these in as well. These are the uh, Rebel version three. Uh, we've got fuel cell midsole on here, and we've got a outsole, which is okay. It was a bit slippery the other day, but as you can see, I've been <laughs> wearing them in all sorts of conditions. This was the worst colorway I could have got. Uh, but this is great fun for those sort of like heel sprint sessions, progressive runs, that kind of stuff where you want to get after it a little bit. Um, also to add into the mix, I've been using the Razor 4, um, where I've been running at lunch times up in London. If I need like four miles or something like that, I've been using the Razor 4, which has got the Hyperburst Pro midsole H plate up the front. We've got great Goodyear outsole, and I just absolutely love this shoe. It really is a great shoe. So they're sort of two shoes that I stick in if I want to do shorter, faster stuff, um, they're not out and out speed, but you can lick along in both of these shoes, which is why they have a good place in my rotation. So now moving through, um, my old favourite for the longer runs was the Glide by 3. Um, but that's had it, that's beaten up and spat out that one. So longer runs uh, for me, we've got a bit of Triumph 20 action going on. So if it's really horrible out over the winter, I will stick them on. But Longer Runs is the super blast for me. Absolutely loving this shoe. Uh, but it's a, a shoe that I'm varying my paces in. Because if I'm putting goal pace in, which I will towards the end of the training block, so I'm talking like 16 miles at goal pace, then we're going Prime X Strung. Now on paper, the Prime X Strung shouldn't work for me. 50 mil a stack um, and quite a wobbly shoe. But because of the um, Strung upper, I sort of feel, I'll get rid of that, I feel sort of closed in and connected to the midsole. Um, so I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wobbling about as much. We've got Light Strike Pro, which works really well for me in the Adios Pro 3, which I've just realized I've left downstairs. But this is long run shoe with goal pace. So long miles, 18, 20, 22 miles, we're going here, people, okay? Um, yeah, okay, right, next. 
Now I am an idiot and I've left my Adios, um, Adi Zero Adios Pro 3 downstairs. I've got a brand new box fresh pair, pink ones. They're ready for race day. Um, I'm going to be wearing them. I'm not going to change that. Uh, we'll look towards the autumn marathons whether we changed it up, but I'm keeping the Adios Pro 3 for the marathons. I may do one of the marathons in the uh, Super Blast. I don't know yet. Um, maybe you could go Primex, but either way, we'll come on to that nearer the time. But at the moment, as it stands, both marathons are being done in the Adios three right so uh because we've got a couple of half marathons and 10ks early doors uh before um the london and manchester marathon i've still got the pro three in the rotation uh this bless it has got some lumps and bumps taken out of its midsole but it's a, just a fantastic shoe this is one of the best shoes of late it really is a fantastic shoe toby ran these in amsterdam and absolutely smashed it this is a great great shoe people it really is, but I'm going to be keeping that in the rotation for um, half marathons. I must give them a clean note if I do do, do that. Then 10Ks, um, and maybe if I go for an out-and-out fast half marathon, I've got the Vaporfly 2. Now, this will be replaced by the Vaporfly 3 when that releases. Um, but for the moment, the Vaporfly 3, um, Vaporfly, 3, Vaporfly 2 is staying in the rotation for those quick runs. Okay, right, so that's it. Now, I appreciate uh, that's a lot of shoes, but um, they all got a purpose. Now, there are obviously other shoes that I've got, the shoes that we're coming in at the testing and things like that, but as a general rule of thumb, these are the ones that I'm reaching for the most uh, when I'm out there and I'm starting my training and things like that. Okay, so it's now down to you. Uh, firstly, am I nuts? Yes, having this many uh, shoes. Let me know how many shoes are in your rotation and then tell me um, which shoes are making up that rotation. We're very interested to know as we go into the winter uh, marathon training blocks because a lot of them are starting now. So let me know what's in your rotation, whether it's one shoe, two shoes, five shoes, or mental like this and 12 shoes. Right, okay, that's it for me, guys. Hopefully that helps. As I said, I wanted to make the video to maybe inspire some of those choices that you might be thinking about um, for your winter marathon training. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.